Hey kids, welcome back to Rob's Guide to SimCity 4. Uh, this is kind of a special episode in which I am going to be installing the network add-on mod version 37, updating from my on my main desktop computer which currently has version 36 running. I'm doing this because I'm going to be starting a new Let's Play using the NAM 37. Uh, fresh uh, city tile and everything like that, but I figured I'd show you guys because I, you know, I do get a lot of questions on the Simtropolis forum and also on my YouTube channel about installing the NAM and things like that. So I'm going to walk you through the process. Uh, here we are on the Simtropolis forum. Uh, you're going to want to create a username uh, if you don't already have one, and you know, obviously, you're going to want the network add-on mod. I think uh, almost all players of SimCity 4 who want to do more than just kind of putz around in the game are going to want to use the network add-on mod. Uh, it is a cross-platform download now, which is great. Uh, I use, as you can see, a Windows 10 PC, uh, but I know that uh, Aspire, which makes the Macintosh version of the Network Add-On mod, uh, in, it has, has produced a 64-bit version of the game because Macs don't really run 32-bit programs anymore. Uh, and so one of the cool things about this version of the mod is it will be the first time that it, it the version is the same for Mac and Windows and you don't have to deal with a separate installer. So that's really cool. So let's just start by uh, downloading the file. Uh, I'm just going to stick it into my downloads folder. While we're waiting for that download to finish, uh, when you are, uh, if you already have NAM 36 or any other early version, earlier version of the NAM installed on uh, your computer, you're going to you're going to need to remove the network add-on mod and uh, you know any of the network add-on mod components from your SimCity 4 plugins folders. In most installations, uh, well, there's I think there's two places you can install your plugins. You can either install them directly in the Steam folder and the Documents folder. I'm using the Documents folder here, uh, but basically you're going to go to wherever your Documents folder is stored. In my case, it's on my my D drive. I use a separate hard drive for data than for my operating system, but you know you should know where your Documents folder is. Uh, you're going to navigate to SimCity 4. And you're going to go into the plugins folder, and you should find uh, there's two there, there's there's probably going to be two folders: network add-on mod and Z underscore underscore nam there. Uh, and this one has this one has just extra stuff, so it's possible that you don't have it. But uh, but yeah, so I'm going to recommend that you put. Let's just create a new folder on the desktop here, and we'll call it old nam stuff. Right. Uh, I rather than deleting these, maybe drag them into this folder here, and maybe we'll actually create another folder here and call it SC4 Plugins Backup. And that's probably a good idea because if all goes wrong, uh, you know, one of the solutions you may want to look into would be to simply do a fresh install of the game. So it's just not a bad idea at this point to. I'm just going to copy and paste these in here. I'm not going to actually move all my plugins out because I don't think it, sh it shouldn't ne be necessary to get rid of all of our other mods. But I have a fair number of mods in here and I don't want to have to download all those again, especially those ones that have hundreds of de dependencies. So I'll move all that into there. Another thing we can do is create a region backup folder. Uh, this is entirely optional, uh, but uh, but it's, I think it's a good idea. All right, the plugins have all moved. You can see that took a while because uh, <laughs> because the game is actually not installed on an SSD, and also uh, I have a lot of plugins. Let's go back to the uh, Sim Documents SimCity 4 folder here, and we'll go into regions, and it's the same thing. Uh, some of these are just like uh, tutorial. Uh, regions, but I would probably just take them all, copy them into your SimCity 4 regions backup folder on the desktop. It's never a bad idea to back up your region, your regions one way or another, but especially if you're going to do a major upgrade like uh, upgrading the network add-on mod, then it's not a bad idea to upgrade your, to back up your regions and also uh, back up your plugins because at the end of the day, if you're not happy with the new network add-on mod or if you if you're if you're encountering problems with it and you you know you just want to go back to playing the game how it was before, well, having having this kind of setup set up this way will will allow you to to you know kind of just reset your game to how it was before. Right, so that download is done. So I'll right click on it. Uh, you'll need something, you'll need like WinRAR or 7-Zip or something like that installed. And you can hit this, actually, if you if you have WinRAR installed, you can just hit extract to network out on mod underscore setup version 37. 
and then it will put it into a, a, a nice folder so that you don't have to fill up. If you if you extract this in your downloads folder or, or your desktop or wherever you have it stored, stored and it just it just spews a bunch of files on there, then I, I personally don't like that. Um, it's, it makes a really unholy mess. And so now we can go in this folder and we can kind of look at the contents. So we've got we've got a whole bunch of instructions here. These are just web links. Uh, this is the four gigabyte patch, which is included with this. So if you haven't already installed the four gigabyte patch, then you can install it this way. The traffic simulator configuration tool, very useful, which we can store somewhere afterwards. And yeah. So the main installer is this .jar, which is a, a Java runtime environment uh, file. So you will need to have uh, JRE, Java runtime environment by Oracle um, installed on your computer to run this. And there is a link on the NAM37 download page on Simtropolis to download that. So I won't walk you through that. Uh, I know that some people don't like to keep Java on their computer uh, for security reasons or otherwise. You might need to you might need to install it to run this and then uninstall it afterwards if that's what you're doing. But let's uh, double click on this and see what happens. And it looks like it's working well. I know on the, my previous installation, I for some reason I couldn't run it. I had to like update my Java version, but. But it looks like it's uh, it's running well now. I know that they are they updated on I guess the fourth of July last. They updated the Java link that's on the network add-on mod page, so that should be a pretty up-to-date version. Uh, we're going to agree with the conditions. Click tabs to continue. Okay, files. So there's a few uh, cho important choices here. Uh, well, reasonably important choices. Uh, you can. Pr this is probably fine to to leave how it is. Uh, this is probably your most important choice here. Uh, whether the NAM controller is going to use right hand drive or left hand drive. So right hand drive. Uh, you know, like in the U.S., Canada, most of continental Europe, and other parts of the world, or left hand drive, which is, I guess, India, Japan, uh, Britain. You know. Whatever you prefer, probably the what you prefer your country. Let's let's open these and look at them. So these are a lot of different like transit options. So if you want to, if you have particular sub mods that you don't like and that you want to dis, uh, you know, remove from this, uh, I tend to leave it as default, uh, mostly because I want to play with all the new features. But there are there are a handful of choices here uh, of things to get rid of. Some people like to get rid of these because it, they cl it cleans up their menus. Um, but I'm, I think I'm going to leave everything in here. Yeah, so we've also got some legacy features here. Um, I'm showing you that, guys this. Uh, I'm not going to use any of them, but uh, some of these legacy features that are that are unticked by default. If you if you boot up NAM37 and you start running it, and you're like, oh my god, where is my favorite little puzzle piece or whatever? It might it may very well be that they have gotten rid of the legacy features. I know that these are re not ne they're they're more or less not supported anymore though. So when it says legacy on it, uh, they're more or less not supported anymore though. So so you'll probably find lots of documentation on Centropolis about them, but you might might not necessarily find them find uh, you know a lot of up to date support. Okay. So now we're going to uh, we're going to select the location, and the location is going to be the same. It's going to be Documents, SimCity 4, Plugins, Network Add-on Mod. Uh, this this installer is not going to install a Z underscore NAM uh, folder. So so that's kind of good actually. Everything's going to be in one nice and tidy folder. I, it's finding an uh, an outdated an outdated file here. I'm probably not going to touch that, to be honest. Uh, I, I have a feeling that that it has to do with the new rail plugin, so I'm probably going to leave that. Uh, if someone knows what this is, feel free to comment. But I, you know, it might just make a particular uh, particular set of um, rail tracks look a bit weird or something. But I'm probably just going to leave it as it is because I whatever that is a d dependency for, I just don't want to break. So. So I'll leave that for now. Uh, these you these you might want to. Uh, you, you know, you may want to pay attention to this. I'm, I'm going to ignore it. Let's hit install. There we go. So uh, when the, you won't really, you don't really see any notification when the inst installer finishes. But I would scroll down to the bottom of this log, and you'll, it'll say all selected components installed. So let's leave the installer, close the installer, and close this. Let's just go take a look at our new folder. Going to Documents, SimCity 4, Plugins, 
network add on mods. Uh, I would not move this into another folder. I wouldn't dat pack it. I wouldn't do anything with this folder. Just, just leave it in the default location. That's my advice. You can see that the uh, ZNOM controller is uh, is now included inside this folder, which is, I, I think, good. Uh, before we do anything else, including running the traffic simulator, let's just make sure the game runs. I have the Steam version of SimCity 4 Deluxe, so I'm going to run it from here. I don't use any launchers or anything like that. It's looking good so far. So I've actually, it, it's actually loaded up the last region I had loaded, which is Plantation Bay, which was my previous Let's Play. Uh, I'm going to try not to change anything in any of these cities because, I, in fact, I'll probably switch to another region because I know that there might be some, some features that don't work. So let's just load up uh, one of the, one of the uh, default regions here. I'll just load up the Berlin region that comes with the comes with the game. I'm going to load up uh, a tile here. Uh, the purpose being I want to take a look at my menus and make sure that it looks like the network out on mod is installing and functioning. It's taken quite a long time to load a new city. It may just be the first time uh, the first time you run the game. Uh, it's always a good idea when installing a big mod like the Network Out-On mod to run the game once, maybe load up a city tile, take a look at how things look. Okay, we've loaded it up now. Uh, and before we try and try and change any settings or anything like that, let's just make sure that it works. So we'll just call the city nom test. Easy, that's fine. And let's just go through some of our little tool tips here. It's looking to me like the Network Out-On mod is installed. And I can see some of the new pieces that aren't in the version 36. So it's looking pretty good to me. Uh, I'm going to just lay down some rail and I'm gonna put a couple of stations down just quickly. Let's save this test tile here. Exit without saving. Yeah, okay, so looks like things are working. The city loaded up this uh, much better the uh, the second time. Oh yeah, we can see our, uh, we can see our rail stations in this view now. Very, very cool. Everything looks like it's working normally. I am going to uh, exit the game, and now we're going to do the the traffic simulator. Yeah, so it looks like we can run the traffic simulator directly from uh, from our our installer here. You'll get this window the first time you open it. No traffic sim simulator was found in your NAM folder. If you have a traffic simulator installed, click OK to open a file dialog box and navigate to the folder. Otherwise, click on cancel and you will start with the standard version of this of the simulator. Let's hit OK. It should be in maybe here. Traffic simulator folder. So you're looking for the traffic simulator folder, which is under network out on mod. And now it's loaded the values from that traffic simulator file. So we can make some changes here. Uh, I like to use the medium high setting for mass transit usage. Uh, I usually don't touch, don't do any custom stuff there. I'll put the highway bus lane. I don't like, I don't like park and ride particularly. I'm not going to mess around with anything else. Pretty sure I like these settings. So I am going to hit save and that's just going to make those few little changes. And we've, we've now run our traffic simulator configuration tool. Uh, I noticed when I ran it that it created, when I first ran it, it created these uh, six, six folders here. Uh, it's probably not a bad idea to copy and paste this somewhere, this whole folder here, the traffic simulator configuration tool in, from the setup folder, to copy and paste it uh, into your documents folder or what have you. Don't, I would not put it into your SimCity 4 plugins folder. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste it into my documents folder for now, but just save it somewhere. Um, you can always download the installer again and rerun the traffic simulator configuration tool. You could also put it in your program files or wherever you want to store it, but I would keep it separate from the rest of your SimCity stuff so that you can just run the program again 
and, and do the settings. So I think I've gotten everything right. Uh, I think the game should run, uh, should run perfectly fine. Uh, and I hope this video has been helpful. I am going to be starting a new Let's Play. Uh, in a new Let's Play with the Network Add-on Mod 37, a uh, brand new region. I'm going to be changing some of my other mod setups, so come check that out. You can also check out my other SimCity 4 tutorial videos, uh, most of which at the, this time use the NAM 36, but all of which should still be useful in terms of learning the basics of the game. I will do some videos on, uh, probably some tutorial videos on specific NAM 37 features at some point. Uh, but let me know what you'd like to see and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Ciao.